Welcome to the installation video for the Lenovo Compute Management Pack. We're going to be looking at system compatibility, creating a least privileged user, installing the management pack, and finally configuring the adapter instance. First, let's go to docs.vmware.com. In here, we'll type in true visibility suite documentation. And we'll click on the first link. This will bring up the documentation to all of the adapters. So we'll find Lenovo Compute. And under system requirements, And this will need a least privileged user of LXC operator. So if we log into the XClarity administrator, go up to administration, security, under local users, we can create a new user. And we'll enter the password. And under role groups, we'll find LXC operator. And we can select no on change password on first access and hit create. Now for the management pack configuration, we'll log into the operations manager and go up to administration and the repository button. Uh, all the way down at the bottom, we'll click on the Add or Upgrade button, and we'll install the management pack. There's two buttons on this page, and install the pack if it's already installed and reset default content. Both of those are going to only be useful on an upgrade of the adapter. Once this completes, it will bring us to the end user license agreement. We can check through that. And this section has been greatly sped up for the video. It will take much longer in your environment. Now that the management pack is installed, we'll find it on the list. Click on Add Account. There we can give it a friendly name. For your reference, we'll type in the host and then the plus sign next to credential. There we can give the credential a friendly name and type in the username and password we created. Under advanced settings, we can change the port or the SSL configuration if necessary. Once this completes, you'll notice that your adapter instance will be in a warning state. It's perfectly normal until after the first collection then it will change to green. If you have any additional questions, please contact your VMware representative. Thank you.